In this video we're going to be dealing with zones and to do this we go to system, localization and zones. Basically here we have three columns and uh, the first column is our country and uh, the second column here is the zone name and the zone name basically it's the county or shire or state. So basically the zone is the top level subdivision of the country. Each zone has its own code here and if we just scroll down the page to the bottom we'll see that in total we have 3,985 pre-populated zones here and that's spread out over 200 pages. Now it's going to be very time consuming to go through each page to find our zone so I'm just going to simplify my search here a little bit. I'm going to scroll up to the top of the page again and go to my system settings. I'm going to edit my store. I'm going to go to my options tab and under my items section here I'm going to come down here to the default items per page for the admin and I'm going to change this to 3985. Bear in mind you will need to change this back as this would be also relevant for the catalogs, products, options etc. So you may want to have a fewer number than 3985 displaying per page uh, on your admin section. So up here on the right hand side just click save then back into system, localization and zones. Now this may take a little while to load because the 3,985 zones should be all on the one page here. So we just scroll down until we find our zone. I'm scrolling down here until I find Ireland. And here I have uh, my Ireland zones here. So as we can see we have Ireland being the country and the county then here starting off here is Carlow and the next county then is Cavan, Clare etc etc. And as you'll see here we have our default county uh, which has been set up in my system settings as Leitrim. So let's just click on edit to have a look at that and basically in each zone here you have the zone name which is the county shire state name etc Leitrim and zone code LE and then we have the country then the zone status then is enabled as always. If you are making any changes uh, you simply click save but if not or if you've worried you've made a, a change by accident or something just simply click cancel. If for some reason the powers that be uh, change the names within your country, you can also insert the zone up here on the top right hand side by clicking insert. So we just a case of uh, putting a new zone name here and the zone code. There's a link here that can bring you to unique website. From there you should be able to get the zone codes that you need for each country. Select your country here. Now to add a new country uh, you would have had to go to your system localization and countries and when you have that done that will be available here in the drop down for the countries. And then on the zone status you obviously would leave this set to enabled and click save. So I'm just going to cancel out of here for now.